All right, so it's been a while since I've done a video on solar battery backup versus generator backup power for your home. And I did a video a couple years back and it really favored solar and battery backup systems over a generator. And that video has gotten a lot of comments and I, I do periodically read through the comments, um, some good, some bad. I mean, at the end of the day, depending on your application, a solar battery backup might be better or a generator backup system might be better. Honestly, the trifecta is the best approach if you can have solar, battery, and generator backup, but not all homes can support all three situations. And depending on where you live in the United States, here in California, we have a lot of track homes. We don't have big lots. So the setback requirements for a generator don't make sense or just aren't feasible to install them to back up our houses. Not to mention we don't have, and we haven't really experienced extreme weather conditions that would justify the need for standby generators to be installed. So what's better for us in California? Solar battery backup systems. And that's really where my video kind of came from previously. Now, in this video, I kind of want to talk about just the pros and cons of both applications, a solar battery backup system and a generator backup system. Because depending on where you live, maybe one is better than the other for you, you know? And to be able to help you understand the value of each in a hopefully non-biased sense, it can help you decide which direction to go. Of course, if you're interested in going solar and making that switch to clean renewable energy, then visit us online by using the link down in the description below. We have some phenomenal partnerships with various manufacturers. So if you live out of our area of Southern California, definitely still request a quote because we can help get you in touch with someone that's certified with a particular product, whether it's the Canadian Solar EP Cube, Tesla Powerwall, the Enphase Energy Platform, we have those resources to help you get the best bang for your buck from the best installer. Now I will say we don't really offer generator backup uh, for most of our situations here in California. There's a couple customers where we've done portable generator backup configurations, which is not the same as standby generator backup. They tend to have a more manual approach. So you have to physically go hook up your generator, plug it in, and then you have to turn on the generator to power your emergency loads. We've done a handful of those. Uh, those customers seem to really like them. I think it's just easier to get a battery when you have your solar system because then it just seamlessly transfers over. But what I really want to talk about is just the pros and cons of each. So I'm going to start the video off on a solar battery backup system and talk about the pros, then we'll talk about the cons, and then we're going to talk about generator pros and generator cons and then just have kind of an open discussion at the end to allow you to decide for yourself which is best for your particular application. Like I said, if it's possible to have all three, I would definitely recommend getting your solar system with a battery backup and a standby generator, but you need room for all three. So let's talk about the pros on a solar battery backup system. Environmentally friendly. That's very clear. You're, you're using sustainable energy. It's harnessing, you know, the abundance of the sun. I mean, it's limitless in some regards because the sun is shining almost every day. Now, if you live somewhere with extreme conditions, the con would be, well, your system's really dependent upon the fact that you need sunlight to charge your battery so that way you can have backup power. So if you don't, if you live somewhere where that's going to be an issue, this may not be a good option for you. Uh, you're reducing your reliance on the utility grid. This is a big benefit. A lot of people go solar to reduce their utility bill or completely eliminate it, as well as make a better impact on the environment. So obviously there's a return for this investment. Getting it with battery backup is a nice little perk. In California, we now have the solar billing program. So you're, you earn extra credits for having a battery with your solar system. So you're rewarded for doing that type of investment. I think one of the biggest advantages uh, to a solar battery backup system is its silent operation. There is literally no noise when it comes to these 
products and it's seamless. I mean, it instantly transitions over during a power outage. You don't even notice that the power has gone out because you're always running on your solar and battery when you have this technology. Whereas a generator needs to fire up, it needs to get synchronized and then your loads can turn on. So that's a pretty big perk in my opinion with a solar battery setup is that it's silent and it's seamless and instant. I mean, it literally just happens. Now, uh, the life expectancy of a battery. Some would say this is a con, but honestly, batteries today have a much longer life. I feel like a lot of the people that look at batteries for home backup are thinking about lead acid batteries from like 40 years ago. You know, we're, we're in the 21st century, all right? The technology's evolved a long way. Is there better lithium ion technology than others? Yes, absolutely. LFP, lithium iron phosphate, which Canadian Solar uses with their EP cube, that product probably will last 20 to 30 years before needing to be replaced. It could last longer, but it'll definitely last way more than you realize. And that tends to be a big discussion for people like, oh, well, a generator is going to last forever. No, generators don't last for, forever. You know, it's a combustible engine. It needs maintenance. It needs servicing. Have I heard of people with, system, with generators that are like 30, 40 years old? Yeah. Do they still put out the same amount of power? I have no idea. They're probably pieces of crap. In my opinion, if you got a generator that old, I don't know if it's running all that efficient because there's more to the generator. You have other components. It's not just a combustible engine with pistons moving up and down. Now, the other big benefit to a solar plus storage system is the tax credit, you know, and possibly state rebates. So you have the 30% federal investment tax credit that's available to everyone in the United States. So if you get a solar or battery backup system, you can claim a 30% tax credit. And then depending on where you live, like in California, we have the self-generation incentive program. So there's a rebate option also for having a battery tied to your solar system. So you could get, you know, anywhere from a couple thousand dollars to a tens of thousands of dollars for adding battery, depending on your particular situation. Now, like I said, there, there are definitely some cons to a solar battery backup system. It's required, you need sunlight. It, it won't work if you live somewhere where you're gonna have just, you know, extremely poor weather for like months on end it's not gonna be ideal. And that's just the truth of the matter is it does have a higher upfront cost. Even with the tax credit, it's still going to be more expensive in most particular applications. Uh, there are some limiting power output factors and storage capabilities with a solar system compared to a generator that you have to take into account. We've talked about the space requirements. Batteries can eat up a lot of wall space, especially with some of the new codes that are being implemented here in California. Jurisdictions want those batteries to be three feet apart. You got some fair pros and cons here for a solar battery backup system for compared to a generator. Now, let's talk about some of the pros of a generator, right? It's a reliable power source. I was just talking about that as a con to the battery solar system it can't always be as consistent as a generator. You buy a generator with a certain rating, depending on the fuel that you put in it, you're gonna get that power no matter what during that power outage, regardless of the weather conditions. A generator can usually handle higher demand loads, multiple air conditioners, multiple heat pumps, heaters, electric heaters, whatever you got going on, a generator in most applications can hire, handle much higher demand energy needs than a battery backup system. Again, with the generator, it's not weather dependent, so you know, no sunlight power. The fuel options range, you know, you put gasoline in it, natural gas, liquid propane, diesel. You know, they have standby, well, I don't know about standby generators, but I do know they have portable generators that have multiple fuel sources. So those are really handy if you're gonna do a manual generator backup system. Now, what are the cons to a generator? Because the pros aren't as long, in my opinion, than a solar battery backup system, but I, th I think we're, for the most part, being pretty fair here. Now, 
the cons. It's reliant on non-renewable fuel sources. We're not running off of the sun. We're not running off of energy that we stored in our battery packs. We're, we literally have to keep buying fuel to pump into this unit to have it keep generating power. It requires regular maintenance. A solar battery system aren't going to have little to no maintenance. Uh, there's noise associated with a generator. Those things can get really loud. In my opinion, is kind of a big deal. I can't handle obnoxious noises. And you're going to disturb your neighbors, you know, with a solar battery backup system. All that equipment can be hidden in the garage. No one's coming to bug you. They don't go, hey, John, can I borrow some of your power? I threw some extension cords over. You know, I know the power is out right now. No, nobody knows you have battery backup. Yeah, maybe you have solar, but if the battery's in the garage, they have no idea. Your generator's running, they know you got power. They want to borrow it. For most of us in California, we're not going to really be able to do the generator in most applications. We're really just going to be able to have solar and batteries, and that's okay because when we have power outages, the power outages we experience are at the heat of the summer. The sun is blazing. It's just shining galore. So we have plenty of energy to capture and power our homes. And we can store it in our batteries for the evenings if it's a multi-day power outage. We haven't experienced any yet, but with the big push for electric vehicles, it's likely we will see more and more power outages because the grid's going to have a hard time managing the energy needs for all of California as more electric vehicles enter the grid. So having that combination of solar and batteries is gonna be valuable. Now for those of you in other areas where you have more land available to you, maybe you get a generator now and then you add a solar and a battery backup system later or maybe you get the solar and battery backup system first and then you add the generator later. You know, it depends on your application. I don't think generators are a bad investment. I think they're fair for your particular needs, but I think it'd be wise to consider other technology at least before making the jump into the generator. You know, try out a manual generator backup system first. Those tend to have a pretty low entry cost. And like I said, we've offered them to our customers here in California because the setback requirements due to the emissions of a generator just aren't really feasible in California. So that way those carbon emissions don't go into the home when it's running. Those are all things you got to take into account. So, but that's it for this week's video. I hope you find this one helpful and deciding on which direction you want to go with your home. Do you want to have a solar system with battery backup? Do you want to have just a generator for backup? Do you want to have all three and just, you know, make sure you have the best system you can get? Regardless of what direction you want to go, you can definitely request a quote from us and we can help you get in touch either with people out of our area or we'll give you a quote directly to install the system. So I appreciate the time. I'll see you in the next one.